Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. I've been struggling with this intro. It is my Project Pan round three finale, sampled out edition, and the intro for my Project Pan round four, which is actually going to be a combination of full size makeup products and samples because I fucking sucked at using the samples this time around. Words, I'm not refilming this. Alright, so I'm going to start with the samples that I finished in August. First up, I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, I, I'm not impressed with this. There were days I used it and I thought, hmm, this, this stuff seems to work. And then there were days I used it and I was like, this shit is shit. Um, I would not pay money to buy a full size one of these. Um, there's other brands I'm interested in trying. I would be more inclined to purchase those than go back to this because I kind of feel like it didn't work for me. Um, so, yeah. Uh, another Urban Decay product. I've got the Eden Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I don't mind this. I prefer the original one. Um, I'm working, I've got, I've got more of these, I'm working on them, seriously, it's going to take me a whole fucking year, probably even longer, to use all of the samples of these that I have. Um, I don't mind it, it works, it holds the eyeshadow on, it helps the eyeshadow to have more pigmentation, um, or show its true potential, I suppose, uh, but I would not purchase Eden, I would purchase different ones from the range. Next item is Benefit Cabrow. Uh, this is like one of their new brow gels. I like it, but I would not buy it. Um, I would not buy it because this stuff dries out so fucking quickly. Um, I just wouldn't risk it. It's expensive. It's very good. I do like it. I think their shade range is great. I've checked it out in store. Um, but the fact that it dries out so easily even like with a little sample and I was very careful to keep these away from like excess air exposure um, I think with a big pot if you're opening it every day and applying it to your brows um, over time it would dry up and it's just not something I'm I'm willing to spend the money on and risk so I wouldn't buy it um, but I did enjoy the sample that I had Alright, let's do some lip products. So I have three Avon lipstick samples here. I can't pick them up. Uh, there we go. Done. Uh, three little Avon lipstick samples. These are all in the gold range. Is it the 24 karat gold range? So I had 24 karat pink. I had golden rose and uh, I can't read I think I need glasses ruby in gold these are they're fine the formula of Avon lipsticks I actually really like them I find them to be very nicely pigmented very hydrating they're not long lasting um, but again they're like hydrating lipsticks so none of them are ever long lasting uh, unless they stain these don't stain um, I wouldn't buy these, but I do enjoy using them, so yeah, they they really do get my tick of approval. And finally, lipstick, um, not final sample, but final lipstick. This is 214 from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani range. Uh, I like the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay lipsticks. I would, I would buy Urban Decay lipsticks. I, yeah tick of approval. Enjoyed. Alright, I have two foundation samples. It Cosmetics CC Cream. A lot of you guys were excited for me to use this because you love it. And I'm so sorry to say I didn't love it. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. And the only reason I didn't love it is because I am a full coverage girl. Give me that full coverage every fucking day. Um, this is, I would call this medium coverage, um, I would say it is slightly buildable if you use very thin layers, but even then you don't get full on coverage. Um, 
What I will say is it's got an SPF 50 plus, didn't break me out. It's very comfortable to wear. So it does have its benefits. I can totally see why people love this product. For me, it's just not, it's not right up there on my list of like holy grail products. I probably wouldn't repurchase this, but if I ever got a sample in another like beauty subscription box or whatever, I would totally use it, no problems. Next sample is the Me In Sue Young Foundation. This is not bad. It, it's too light for me. I mixed it with darker um, products, mostly the CC cream. The medium was um, too dark for me. Uh, so I mix this with other products. It has a, I would call it low coverage. Um, like it's quite sheer on the skin. It's comfortable to wear. Um, I wouldn't buy it. I, I wouldn't, it's not, like I said, full coverage girl. You, it is what it is. Um, but I didn't hate it. Mixed well with other foundations. So there you go. Alright, I'm going to show you another empty, which I'm going to bitch about. And then I'm going to show you two items that I am throwing out because I don't want to carry them over to my next project because I fucking hate them. Alright, first up, Ico. This is the Skinny Mini Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Now, I was storing this upside down and I found after using it for maybe two weeks, um, it was getting to the point where I would have to, like, I would sort of line my lash line, I'd have to put the cap on, shake it, and then start doing my wing, put the cap on, shake it, fix up the wing, put the cap on, shake it, go to the next eye. It was getting to be a real fucking pain in the ass to use. One day I went to use it and I was struggling to get the cap off and I'm really scared to pull this because I've got a new bed bedspread and it's white and crisp and I don't want to fuck it up with black eyeliner. So anyway, I pulled the cap off and this is what it came out of the cap and left whatever I, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Like this is just like packaging bullshit at its worst. I, I'm not interested. Um, I wouldn't buy it. Even even if it didn't have the packaging fuck up, I wouldn't buy it. It just wasn't that good. Um, I didn't really like the like the tip, the applicator. I thought it was too thick. Um, the fact that the tip would dry out, didn't have good product flow. Like I couldn't do a whole wing or I couldn't do both my eyes in just like one go. I had to put the cap on, fucking shake it. Um, so I just, I wouldn't waste my money on it because I can buy drugstore really cheap eyeliners, pen liners, like I could buy the W7 one for five bucks and it performs exactly the same way this one does. And these are, I think they're like $27 or something from Mecca for a big one. So no, I wouldn't buy it. All right. Two items I'm throwing out. These are the Ultraceutical CC Cream. I have light and medium. I hate these. I hate them. It's gross. The coverage is almost non-existent. I don't even know why you would bother. Put on a fucking moisturizer and treat yourself. Um, so bad coverage. So, so heavy on the skin. It feels heavy and thick and sticky. I hate it. It's gross. So basically, you put this on and your skin feels like covered in sticky, heavy crap, but you have nothing to show for it. No thank you. Goodbye. Alright, I am going to show you some progress of some other samples that I was working on. Didn't quite get there. So annoyed. Um, let's start with these three. So, I have Benefit Professional. Oh, I was so close with this, guys. So you can see my tiny little line there. There's so little left. I'm so annoyed I didn't finish this, but it will be rolled over to the next project. Uh, I have the Luna BB Cream. This is too light for me, but similar to the Sue Young, it mixes really well with other foundations. And I have a specific foundation that is... I don't love it. It's the Bourjois Healthy Mix. 
is it the serum one? I don't know. I can't read it from here. I need glasses. Um, anyway, it's way too dark for me. Even in summer, it's like way too dark. It's got this weird sort of orange undertone. So the only way I'm ever going to use it is if I mix it with lighter stuff. And these BB, sam BB cream samples and the other ones that I have, uh, they're perfect because they're like, they're almost white. So they work really well for mixing. Um, so I've been using the Luna one recently and I don't think you'll be able to see my line. Maybe it's just there. So I've got through a little bit of it. Um, I'll keep going. I'm like, it'll roll over into the next project. I'm happy with that. Next uh, base product. This is the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. I just hate this. And I don't, look, it's perfectly functional, kind of. It, let's say it's usable. Um, and not usable, it's actually usable. But it, fuck, it's such a waste of space product. So, last time I showed you guys this, it was up here. And now it's down here. Um, it does kind of stick to the side of the bottle and stuff like that. But I had this sitting up straight when I marked it so it's it's kind of moved everywhere anyway this is I don't even know I don't even fucking know what the fuck the point of this is you can't use this as a highlighter it would make a beautiful highlighter but if you put it over foundation forget it it's gross you've got perfect foundation everywhere except where you put this it like lifts and bunches and clumps and it is disgusting. So I put it under my foundation. And obviously when you put something like this under your foundation and you love full coverage foundation, you can't even see this. So it's pointless. Um, it says you can use it alone on the face or mix it with foundation, moisturizer, fucking argan oil for a magical lip from within glow. No, I don't like Josie Marin products. I've never used something from Josie Marin that made me go, wow, this is great. They're not great. Next up is Lancome Mascara. I've been using this for a while. It's a hypnose drama. It makes the noise. Wait. There we go. Uh, it makes the noise that a mascara makes when it's still fairly full. Uh, so I'm going to keep going with it. I have noticed it's transferring a little bit sort of under my eyes and up on my brow bone. Um, throughout the day so probably won't be sticking around for much longer but I'm gonna keep going with it because I actually really do like what this does for my lashes and final products I can show progress on are four lip products I've been using these like sort of in conjunction with each other and on rotation basically so I'll start with the Lord and Berry lip pencil here we go. So there's a little bit of progress there. Um, I don't like using this on its own because it's a matte lip pencil and when I wear it, after about an hour, it gets that disgusting like white, like it's sucking the hydration out of your mouth and lips and then it changes colour and it looks it looks so gross honestly it's disgusting so I have to put a lipstick over the top and I've been using this one from Hourglass which is Grace this is almost done I am I am happy with how I'm going with this hang on I've got to get I've got to get this there we go so I'm pretty happy with how that's going I think I should be able to finish it soon um, but yeah it's I mean this shit's slow going set Makeup samples take a long time to use up. I, it doesn't matter if I fucking use them every day, reapply, reapply. They still take forever for me. Uh, I've got two lip glosses. Napoleon Purtis. <sighs> Napoleon Purtis lip gloss in pink. Um, <laughs> it's about half done. There it is there. Um, I don't mind this, it's a little bit sticky, but the fact, I haven't been wearing this a lot, and the fact that it's already half done with the few applications that I have used or applied, um, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to put up with it until it's done. 
sometimes I like the satisfaction of finishing a product that I don't like. Uh, and then I've got the Clarins, wait, no, it's not Clarins, it's Lancome Gloss in Love. Um, do you have a shade name? No, I don't know. Uh, again, this one is about half done. Uh, I really love the colour of this. It's gorgeous. It does have some micro glitter in it. You don't really notice it on the lips. You don't feel it on the lips either, which is my biggest pet peeve of glosses with like shimmer in them. But that is actually a really beautiful colour. It looks quite pink. It goes on more coral. I like coral. All right, moving on to my project pan round four intro. This video is gonna be long. I'm sorry, guys. It is what it is. So for this round of my project pan, um, I'm just gonna let it run for three months. So September, October, November. December is going to be a free month for me. I can wear whatever the fuck I want and I don't have to worry about project pan. Um, so for three months, this is what I'm going to be focusing on. All of my makeup samples. There we go. So the stuff I showed you before that I've got progress on and this crap. Uh, there's a lot in there. There's a bunch of Avon the lipstick samples. And let me show you this a bit better. There we go. So I have 97 sample makeup samples here. I know I won't finish them. Um, it's... I want to finish them, but I know that it's not realistic for me to finish them by the end of the year or by the end of November. Um, but I want to keep them in the project because I want to make as much progress as I can because I think I'll just throw whatever's left away when it's done. Or if I haven't used the samples at all, I might see if like one of the local women's shelters, well, they're not really local, but one of the women's shelters that I donate to, I'll see if they want them. Um, Next up, I've got full-size items. I have nine full-size items. Um, a lot of them already have progress on them, so don't get excited. Um, first up, I've got the L'Oreal Nude Magique BB Cream. This has pan. I've already hit pan. Um, I honestly think it'll probably only take me about a month, maybe a little bit over a month to finish that. I just want it out of my collection. I do like it. Um, I'm... I'm sure this is discontinued. I, I don't think I've seen it in store for a long time. But I just want it gone. I've got a lot of powders and this is one that I'm happy to get rid of. Next up, I have two lip liners. Now, usually I wouldn't put two of the same type of product in a project. Um, I've learned that the hard way. But with lip liners and the way I'm feeling about lipstick color or lip colors at the moment, I figured this is actually a smarter thing for me to do. Um, this one here is Gorgeous Cosmetic Strawberry, and this is sort of like a pinkish red. Then we have Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in Raisin. This is more of a plum red. Now, because I'm sort of still, I'm still into really dark lip colors, but I'm also starting to feel more inspired by lighter, brighter shades, I needed a lip liner for each. If I use this, the, the raisin, with light colours, it's going to darken it up too much. And if I use strawberry with anything like other than a light coloured lipstick, you're not even going to see it. So I figured it, it was worth having both in there. That means I can wear whatever lip colour I want and my lip liner isn't going to effectively ruin it or have zero effect. So two, two lip liners. Um, I have an eyeliner. This is MAC Eyeliner in Ola Viola. Uh, this is a purple eyeliner. Now, I am putting this in here because when I did my declutter, I thought I probably should get rid of this because it's old. But then I said, no, I'm going to try and pan it. So, I just want to use as much of this as I can by the end of November. Whatever's left, I am going to get rid of it. It is very old. I do have two other old MAC eyeliners. They are going to go into my project pan next year, my first one, and it's pretty much gonna be the same fate. Use up as much as you can before it goes into the bin. So, there's that. Uh, let's do some brow crap. 
billion dollar brows. I have the, what are you even called? It's a universal brow pencil. I don't think, I don't think this is universal. Honestly, I think it's too warm. Um, it's, I like it. I don't adore it. I wouldn't repurchase it. I want to use it up, get it out, be done with it. Start using some of those brow products that I really love. And this one is a Billion Dollar Brows Brow Gel. Now, this I have marked. There's not much left in it. It's a really looking pretty fucking manky. It's got to go. I've either got to use it up or it's just got to go in the bin. So, I'm choosing to use it up. Next, I have a concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. My colour is NC or NW20, sorry. Uh, I marked it. There we go. Not much left in it. Um, everyone loves this. I don't love it. Um, it breaks me out, so I can't use it anywhere other than under my eyes, which is a complete fucking shit. Um, and under my eyes, it doesn't do a whole lot for me, if if I'm perfectly honest. I wouldn't repurchase it, so I just want to use it up, piss it off. That's it. My next item is Benefit Hula. There we go. It has pan. Now, after I film this, I'm going to repress it so it doesn't have this huge chunk of pan that's not a pain in the ass to use. I wanted to leave the pan there to show you guys how much progress it had. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm totally repressing this to make it easier to use. I want this done by the end of the year. Not because I don't like it. I love it. I have like full size backup. I have it in another benefit palette. I love it. I will always own Benefit Bronzer. But this one is almost done. I've had it for a long time. And it's just, it's time. It is time to use it up. And my very last full size item is a perfume. So this is Hugo Boss Women or Woman. Probably Woman. I don't fucking know. Uh, this is essentially full. I like this, I don't love it, which means I'm going to be complaining about not wanting to use it quite early in the project. It is what it is, at least I'm honest with you guys. So I have marked where the bottle is at. I am choosing to mark it this way, standing it up because it's going to be easier to see um, or easier to see progress, I should say. When you have it this way, it's kind of like you're doing weird fuck it. You guys get it. So there it is. There is a lot left in there. I probably won't finish it by the end of the year, but that's all right. I just want to make progress and maybe try to finish it. All right, guys, I'm going. This video has been way too long. Right here, I'm going to put the value of the samples that I finished for round three this month. That's going to be up there right now. Next, you will see the total value of all the samples that I used up in this project right here. The number of samples I used and their value. It's good. It's fun. This is, this is extra work, but this is kind of cool for me to see at the end of each month and the end of each project. Um, I will be back in a month with like my first update for my new project pan. Um, hopefully... I do well, I probably won't. I always feel like I never do, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, there will be a related blog post linked down below in the description box. Check it out if you like. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.